The V8 Sydney 500 has made an impressive debut at Olympic Park despite some teething problems with new cracks in the street circuit. Angela Cox is trackside. Angela, what's been the response from fans? Chris, they've been amazed by the transformation that's taken place here. Die-hard supporters who've been to every major race in Australia have told me this is the best precinct. And this weekend's races hold a special place in the heart of local boy Mark Winterbottom. Mark, look what I've brought. Trust a mum to keep these. These are cars you used to play with when you were so little and their memories. They bear the names of racing legends. And I've actually can proudly say I've raced both of these guys. So um, yeah, I've pushed them around on the, on the concrete at home. I've pushed them around on the track. Not bad for a kid from Doonside. Mark Winterbottom's always dreamed of racing in a major event in his hometown. It's pretty quick. There's a lot of concrete. There's a lot of uh, now. <laughs> a lot of stuff to hit. Frosty, as he's known, won a motorbike when he was five, and that was it. Wanted the speed, so I knew then. I think we were in trouble. Like mother, like son, June used to race minis. She never really shook her need for speed, and used to take on teenage boys at traffic lights. Mum there with the groceries in the back <laughs> would beat all the 18-year-old hoons in their souped-up cars. June's a little slower at 64. She's battling secondary breast cancer and is in the middle of chemotherapy. But there's no way she's missing her son's first major race in Sydney. For Mark to, to grow up here and for the first race at Homebush, it would be a dream. Go! The action on the track wraps up shortly, then tonight's entertainment begins. And if you're heading out here over the weekend, a reminder, there's no parking, so catch public transport, Chris.